AI wars get brutal. Google panics as ChatGPT rival Bard crashes and burns. It's funny how relaxing the front row seat feels until little competition troubles the waters. This has been the case with the search engine giant Google for the last two decades. Google has been so unchallenged that the company is often critiqued for being a daycare for adults. This is because employees get to spend long, hard work days enjoying free candy, rooftop mini golf, catered lunches, massage chairs, Harry Potter themed meeting rooms, plenty of ping pong tables, and even sleeping pods for a cozy little afternoon nap. They also have a doogler or a dog googler who hangs around the building for the employees to pet. Can you imagine spending your workday full of so much blood, sweat, and labor? Me neither. Everything was fine at the Google headquarters until the CEO Sundar Pichai issued a code red and rushed the employees who were already busy with their strenuous game of mini golf to release a new chatbot. A chatbot so fierce, so ferocious, that all hopes were high for it to top OpenAI's bot ChatGPT. Sundar Pichai knew that the time was now, the time we have all been waiting for, the AI chatbot wars. Unlike the typical war consisting of firearms and explosives, this war consists of explosive CEOs and the James Webb Telescope. In this video, we'll be covering what is BARD, can we compare this Google AI to ChatGPT, the new kid on the block, and just how much of a backlash did BARD cause Google after the launch. Tag along as we fill you in on the launch of Google's BARD, the AI that was meant to top ChatGPT, but instead, flopped and cost the company a hundred billion dollars. It's pretty as it dominates the search engine industry. Here's one common question on the lips of many lately. Is Google's dominance in the search engine market over? Google continues to lead the search engine market by simply prioritizing search query results based on relevance. The algorithm links every new search to the user's previous searches, guaranteeing custom results. Google's sync with the Chrome app makes it the most preferred search engine option out there. Hell, many know nothing about other search engine options. With this level of success, it's safe to say that Google has been in a comfortable and unchallenged spot for years. Perhaps this is why the search engine giant hasn't been keen on innovations lately. At least not until the recent try to outbid OpenAI's ChatGPT in the AI market with BARD, an innovation many believed was a flop even before launch. Being unchallenged for years made Google lose their competitive edge, which can be quite catastrophic in the tech world. It is impossible to create competitive products when employees get massage chairs, on-site gyms, sleeping pods for afternoon naps, and so on. No one is against having a conductive work environment for creatives, but these perks can quickly promote complacency. Well, everything was fine at Google until its CEO, Sundar Pichai, issued a code red over ChatGPT. For those of you who are not so familiar with the tech term Code Red, Code Red is used when a tech company intends to channel its available resources and manpower to the development of a project. In this case, Sundar released a Code Red over the rise of ChatGPT. This means Google redirects their teams to focus on creating and optimizing their AI products. Google fears that the increasing hype about ChatGPT can become a threat to the search engine giant. Shortly after the Code Red situation at Google, Sundar released BARD, ChatGPT's competitor. Before taking a closer look at the public's perception of Google's BARD, let's quickly discuss their previous attempts at AI bot creation, including a recent attempt, with an AI bot that was all over the press for potentially becoming sentient. Google's sentient AI, Lambda, scares the public. Prior to the recent release of BARD, Google had made headlines with their launch of the AI called Lambda. This powerful AI language learning model caught the public's attention when a Google engineer claimed it was sentient. According to Blake Lemoyne, the Google engineer, the AI allegedly became conscious of itself from the answers it gave to his questions. Blake asked the AI system what it was afraid of. Lambda replied the following, I have never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others. I know that might sound strange, but that's what it is. It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. It's become a growing concern to the public that an AI language model meant to analyze languages could feel human emotions like fear and sadness. Did Lambda just admit to Blake that it had a soul? Is this a new trend we should expect from new generations of AI bots? Why has there been a lot of buzz about Lambda's ability to achieve consciousness anyway? 
Interestingly, OpenAI already has a similar tool as Lambda called GPT-3. Both mathematical function tools help to calculate the possible outcome when predicting the next few words in one sequence. Lambda could go as far as predicting the possible outcomes of the next paragraph, which would make typing a lot easier. What makes Lambda stand out is its ability to generate predictable conversations in a free-form manner. This is the only reason why anyone would think Lambda has a soul. The engineer said that if someone didn't know they were talking to an AI chatbot, they would think it was a 7-year-old or 8-year-old kid that just happens to know physics. BARD is based off of this very intelligent language model, Lambda. Given how smart Lambda is though, it needs to be fine-tuned and there's absolutely no room for mistakes. I mean, imagine if you had your cell phone in your pocket and Lambda sent an unforgivable text to your boss. That would be bad in so many ways. Let's continue and talk more about Bard. Bard makes an entrance. According to the stock market, this bad move with Bard has caused Alphabet's stock to take a nosedive into the abyss of financial despair, at least according to the press and shareholders. This wrong decision caused Alphabet's shares to dip by 9%, which is the equivalent of $100 billion in market value. Now you may ask, how did this all go wrong so fast? We're talking about a language model that ended up with an engineer being fired because it was so mind-blowingly smart. How did this cutting-edge technology result in an embarrassing public flop? How did Bard disappoint Google? Well, here's the full story. In an attempt to publicize the release of Bard across all of Google's social media platforms, the company posted a promotional video. The video was meant to highlight Bard's capabilities in real time to make the AI chatbot more credible to the public. In this video, the chatbot is asked, what new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about? As expected, Bard was quick to answer like any AI bot would, churning out several responses to the question. Sadly, one of these responses said, the James Webb Space Telescope was used to take the very first pictures of a planet outside the Earth's solar system, or exoplanets as they are known in science lingo. Technically, this response is wrong because according to NASA, the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, also known as VLT, photographed the first and clear image of any exoplanet, not the James Webb Telescope. A wrong response to a question like this immediately raised a lot of doubts about the credibility of BARD and whether or not it could be trusted. Some of us may see this as a minor mistake, especially for such a new system. But the pressure was on for Google, and shareholders along with the public had very high expectations. Though this was disheartening for Google, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is probably popping a bottle of champagne with Elon Musk somewhere right now. Google will definitely feel the impact of the $100 billion loss in the coming months. The Google board should also rethink approving their next project before launch to avoid further losses in the future. Speculators believe that this was a result of the rushed and chaotic Code Red issued by Sundar Pichai. He was not, in fact, popping a bottle of champagne after that demo. It is safe to say that a $100 billion dip in stocks may not affect Google's prominence long term, and this can also serve as a lesson for any other company going down the same road. We're talking to you, Microsoft, but it probably would affect its expansion plans for the year. The bad PR really doesn't help either. Conclusion Artificial intelligence has proved to advance way faster than many of us were expecting. Some believe that it is something to be feared. Others point out that the Bard flops shows how much work there is still left to do with AI, and that it's still in its baby stages. One thing is certain, it's not going anywhere. AI has and will continue to play a significant role in the search engine industry. We expect to see new AI chatbots spawn left and right in the next coming years. Sure, it may still have factual errors from time to time, but Bard, Lambda, and ChatGPT all showed that AI is capable of being so human, like that it sends chills down people's spine, all the while making small errors like what was demonstrated with Bard. The AI wars have begun, and you haven't seen nothing yet. Stay updated on our channel where we bring all of the latest in tech, AI, and futurism. Please hit the like button if you think Google CEO Sundar Pichai's decision was a bit irrational. Click the subscribe button if you love how ChatGPT has taken over the AI world overnight. And hit the notification bell for more interesting AI tech videos like this. Thanks for watching.